Hello. Today I'm going to explain how to do bond energy calculations for GCSE AQA chemistry and GCSE AQA combined science. Now, for most questions, you will, you will be given this, this displayed formula as shown here. Um, and it's simply a case of adding up the bond energies of the reactants and the bond energies of the, of the products and then taking the products away from the reactants. But we'll go through it step by step, so by the end of this video, hopefully you should feel confident about tackling these calculations. So, we'll start with this chemical here, which is methanol, uh, and then we'll work on the oxygen after that. Now, with the methanol, we have one, two, and three CH bonds. So here's the three CH bonds found in methanol, and each one of those has a value of 413 kilojoules per mole. As well as that, we have this one CO bond, so let's write that one down, which is here is 358, 358 kilojoules per mole. Finally, there is an OH single bond which is over here, and that is 464 kilojoules per mole. Now, then we'll total up these. As in every science exam, you're allowed to use a calculator to do this. Leaving us with 2,000 and 61 kilojoules per mole. But, in this question, they've given you two moles of methanol, not one. So this is for one mole of methanol, therefore I need to multiply this number by two. And that's going to leave, leave us with 4,122 kilojoules per mole. And that's for methanol. Okay, next we need to do the same for oxygen. Now the oxygen here only has a, one type of bond, it has an oxygen-oxygen double bond. And that oxygen-oxygen double bond has a value of 498, a bond energy of 498 kilojoules per mole. But there are three oxygen molecules here. So we take that 498 and we times it by three, which gives us 1,494 kilojoules per mole for the oxygen. Now to find the overall bond energy, or the total bond energy, for the reactants in this, in this particular reaction, then you add these two numbers together. So we've got 1,494 kilojoules per mole for oxygen, plus 4,122 kilojoules per mole for the methanol. And that leaves us with 5,616 kilojoules per mole. And that is all of the reactants. And therefore that is the amount of energy, this is a positive number, that's the amount of energy that must be added to the chemical store in order to break all of the bonds of the reactants. Right, the next step is to work out how much energy was released to the, to the environment when the new bonds in the products formed. So, it is very similar to the previous step. You add up the bonds in each of the products and, and then work out that total. So here we have carbon dioxide. So I'm going to write that one here. There's our carbon dioxide. And it has two bonds in it, both of which are carbon double bond oxygen uh, bonds. Even though this one's written backwards, it's still the same kind of bond. So there's our two carbon oxygen double bonds, and they have an energy of 805 kilojoules per mole. Now, again, we have two carbon dioxides being formed, so we, once we've added them together, we will times that by two. So, 805 plus 805 
gives us 1610 and then we multiply that by 2 because there are two carbon dioxides leaving us with 3220 kilojoules per mole and that is for the carbon dioxide which we had up here let's do the same thing for water now the water has two bonds to it and both of those bonds are oxygen hydrogen single bonds so here's our water and then we have oxygen hydrogen and an oxygen hydrogen single bond they each have a value a bond energy of 464 so there they are and again we have a multiple here there are more than one molecules there is more than one molecule of water being produced in this reaction in fact there are four so once we've added that up we're going to have times that by four so 464 plus 464 gives us 928 that's the bond energy of one molecule of water but we have four of them so let's times that by four and we find we have 3712 kilojoules per mole now all of this on this page all of these bond energies are the amount of energy that is released when these bonds formed released from the chemical store to the surroundings therefore these are decreases in the chemical store so really at the end of this they're all negative numbers so we start by adding these two together so we have 3220 plus 3712 so let's do that here which gives us 6,932 and this is a minus sign like we said it's easiest just to put it on at the end and that's for all of the products in this reaction the bond energy of products is always negative and the bond energy of reactants is always positive so here we have our minus 6,932 kilojoules released of energy from the products or when the products formed and we have our 5,616 kilojoules of energy that was added to the reactants to break those bonds in the first place. So, then you simply take your 5,616 and then you minus the amount of energy that was released, 6,932, and that will give us our overall energy change 5616 minus 6932 which gives us minus 1316 kilojoules per mole now one of the ways to remember this particular equation which one goes first is either that the reactants are always on the left side and the products are always on the right side when you draw out an equation like this one here the other way to think of it is that you have breaking minus making breaking bonds the energy needed to break bonds minus the energy released when you're making bonds and that will equal the energy change okay we have our number this over here is our energy change but what does that mean well the fact that it's a negative number means that energy overall energy is being taken from the chemical store of the reactants and being released to the surroundings now if energy is being released to the surroundings we would experience that as an increase in temperature so if energy is exiting the, th the chemical store then we say that this reaction is exothermic exo for exit and thermic is a thermic means energy I hope this has helped you and that you feel a bit more confident in tackling bond energy calculations now the best thing to do at this stage is to get hold of as many bond energy calculation questions as you can and run through them practice this this method uh, I'd even watch through the video as you're trying questions 
uh, and then and get them marked. Uh, good luck.